Call of Duty Zombies has introduced various perks over its lifespan. Some of them were mediocre at best, while others were absolutely essential to survive the high rounds. However, there is one perk that I believe is the worst perk ever introduced. That perk is Tombstone. Tombstone was a perk introduced on the maps Transit and Town on the launch of Black Ops 2. The perk's effect is very simple. When you bleed out, you will drop a Tombstone power-up at your death location, which will persist until the next round. When you respawn, you can pick up the power-up and get back all the weapons and perks that you lost, except for a Tombstone itself. Because of the nature of the perk's effect, Tombstone is unique in that it is the only perk in Zombies history to only be obtainable on co-op. Now, on Town, this perk is very useful, but on Transit, it's a little bit less so. You only have 90 seconds to get back to your Tombstone power-up before it disappears. And Transit is so large that if you don't spawn in the same area where you died, usually it's impossible to get it back. Besides that, the perk sounds half-decent on paper. I mean, the worst part about bleeding out in Zombies is starting back with your pistol and having to recover everything that you lost. So it makes it significantly easier for you to get back into the fight. Except there's one problem. There's one more effect of Tombstone that I forgot to mention. When you go down, there will be text on screen that says, hold to interact, and doing so will instantly kill you without giving any of your teammates a chance to revive you. It will just instantly make you bleed out. Now this feature alone is what makes Tombstone exceptionally bad for two reasons. First of all, if you go down with Tombstone and a teammate revives you, you don't get any of your perks back. But if you go down with Tombstone and bleed out, you do get your perks back. This incentivizes players to purposely bleed out and to not even think about giving their teammates a chance to revive them. Now, why is that a bad thing? Well, think about this. If your teammate decides to instantly bleed themselves every time they go down, they aren't helping you at all with the main task. The main task being killing the zombies and getting to high rounds. They're making you do all the work for that round, and they're making you waste significantly more ammo than you otherwise would. The point of co-op zombies, especially on Transit and Town, is that you should all be contributing to make the rounds as quick as possible. You should all be killing zombies. When you are down a player, or two, or three, the game becomes a lot harder for the people that are surviving. How many of you have ever played a public match on Transit or Town and had a player that would bleed out every single round. And you know what they do when they respawn? They buy back Tombstone, immediately go down, and immediately bleed out again. I don't know about all of you, but I remember that happening constantly when I used to play those maps. They're literally making you carry them to whatever round you can get to. If you revived them, at least they'd be able to help you with killing zombies, even if they're going down a lot. So how do we fix the perk? Well, I think two simple changes would make the perk significantly better. One, make it so that when you are revived, you still keep remaining perks. This would dissuade players from purposely bleeding out, and when they get revived, they are more equipped to rejoin the battle. Two, get rid of the bleed out button. I don't know why they ever introduced that. It never made sense to me that you could just instantly bleed yourself. And it really annoys me when people go down and say, I wanna save my stuff and just instantly bleed out. These two small changes would change it from a perk that incentivizes players leaving the battle to save their stuff to players wanting to be revived because they'll keep their perks. Now, some of you might be thinking that this sounds a little bit too overpowered, but I don't really think it is. And the reason I say that is because it's kind of a trade-off. You could have Tombstone and know that if you go down, you'll have an easier time recovering, or you could swap Tombstone with a perk that helps you during the battle. Remember Jug, Quick Revive, Speed Cola, Stamina Up, and Double Tap are all on the map, and you'd have to sacrifice one of those for your Tombstone slot. Unfortunately, that isn't the perk we ended up getting, and Tombstone has only made an appearance on Transit and Town, so it's not really something that ever got changed. Anyway, those are my thoughts on why I think Tombstone is the worst perk in Zombies. Do you agree, or do you think a different perk is even worse? Let me know down in the comments, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. But wait, hold on. This video is only halfway done, because Tombstone's also in Cold War, and they did change it quite a bit. So surely it's gonna be much better in Cold War, right? Well, no. Black Ops Cold War did change many of the original perks to be quite different than what they used to be, including Tombstone. 
Yet, Tombstone is still the worst perk in Cold War. It's actually so bad that in my Mauer der Toten world record video, I specifically mentioned that you shouldn't even bother buying it. You'll also notice that I didn't buy Tombstone. That's because Tombstone is completely useless. So what does it do in Cold War? Well, a few things. Tombstone in Cold War takes a lot of cues from the perk Who's Who from Die Rise. When you go down, you have the option of entering a shadow form or a doppelganger that spawns in and you can go and revive yourself. Unlike Who's Who, the game actually gives you your weapons and your perks when you go to revive yourself. Except this is Cold War and there's a lot that we're not seeing here. Firstly, Let's look at this footage of me going to revive myself. You might notice that it takes away your armor. You'll notice in this footage, as soon as I go down, I still have armor when I go down. In case you're wondering how that's possible, it's because I don't have tier five Chuggernock. There's a reason I've done that. It's an explanation for another time. So I respawn, I have no armor, meaning it takes three hits from the zombies to kill me because the zombies do a lot of damage on high rounds. You'll notice I also lose access to my score streak. So if you were relying on that to save you, you don't have that anymore. Your equipment, which could have been monkeys, decoys, or in my case, it was Gersh's, that's gone also. One thing is also missing, except it is visible on your screen. So it's kind of a fake out. You see this self revive on the bottom left? Well, you don't actually have that. If you go down in your shadow form, you instantly bleed out you do not get a chance to use your self revive at all. If you're playing solo, game over, GG, that's the end. And here's the best part about the whole experience. When you enter your tombstone shadow, you can spawn pretty much anywhere on the map at all. I have seen people do this on D machine and spawn insanely far away from their body. Now in this footage, you see that I get some really nice spawns. And I think after testing it a few times on Forsaken, it will always spawn you in the same area. So you don't have to use a zip line or a teleporter to get to your body. On the other maps, same thing isn't quite true. Luckily in this footage, I do manage to revive myself. The best thing is, as soon as I revived myself, I still lost all but three of my perks. So it didn't even save me a lot of effort. I still have to go get all my perks back. It seemed like I was just taking on a lot of unnecessary risk for not a lot of reward. And I really was. So it might have some drawbacks, but it still gives you an extra life, right? Well, the perk is redundant, and I'll explain why. Let me introduce you to another perk known as Tier 5 Quick Revive. When you upgrade your Quick Revive to Tier 5, when you go down, you can kill a zombie and instantly revive yourself. Unlike Tombstone, there's absolutely zero risk. You can be up in a matter of seconds, keep your armor and your score streaks and your equipment and your self revive. And sometimes if you're lucky, the game just revives you automatically because of elemental pop. So why bother using Tombstone at all? Why would you go through the risk of possibly dying while trying to revive yourself? The answer literally is that you shouldn't. There is legitimately no benefit to trying to revive yourself. And there's a significant risk of ending your game. So my advice is don't run Tombstone, don't bother. Just rely on your tier five quick revive, which will do the job much faster and much easier. And even if you go down after that, you still have your self revive. Anyway, now these are my thoughts on why I think Tombstone is the worst perk in all of zombies. Do you agree? Or do you think a different perk is worse? Let me know down in the comments and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. But wait, we're still not done. What about Modern Warfare 3 zombies? Isn't Tombstone better there because it lets you keep your stuff in between matches? Honestly, I don't know. I never played that shit. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.